What's going on ILB Elite Family? Coach Marcus Hodges here with you. Today I want to talk about three different moves that every guard's got to have. But I'm going to give you a little secret here. These three moves are going to have three different counters. So really, I'm giving you more value. I'm giving you nine different moves here. Remember, just because you have a base move doesn't mean you can't have a counter out of it. So I want to give you three different counters to each and every move. This bag right here, every guard needs to have and perfect. Something you don't want to miss. You already know, man. Let's get it. If you ain't fam, I can't relate, baby. Nah. Oh, I see. First is going to be my in and out. All right, so I want to focus on in and out with that with that one dribble. So say you shift your defender, you don't shift them as much as you like, so you're committing to that drive and then you're springing up. So the footwork is going to be here, inside, outside, with my feet outside of my shoulders. Now I cross the ball over, my inside foot follows, and then I take that one dribble, inside, outside, stop. So we'll just talk about the footwork here. Every guard has got to have this footwork. He's got to have this move. He's going to an inside out cross. One dribble, I want you to have that speed stop. Rest here for about two seconds to make sure you're on, on balance, and then you can reset. In and out, cross over with an extra dribble. I'm here, cross, one, be on balance, then we can reset. In and out, cross, one dribble, hold about a second and a half, and reset. Hold about one second and then reset. Make sure you get both sides of that, left side and right side. Second is gonna be now simply my in and out cross. So when I go here, I in and out cross, but I'm thinking nothing but lateral. So I shift my defender. Maybe I need a three point shot, so I cross the ball over here. Now my foot just goes to lateral space and I'm able to get that shot off. Notice the different space in the moves here. Right? Notice those first set of moves I did, I was about to that elbow. Here I'm just getting lateral space. So we have my in and out with the dribble. We'll have now my in and out lateral. And then here, what Damon Lillard likes to do, my in and out step in two. So I'm going in and out, right? My footwork's here and I'm simply stepping into space. My hips stay down until I lift up. I'm actually gonna jump on this rep because I want you to visualize it and see it before I actually get into the real reps. <sighs> Timing when that left foot hits, that's when I want you to spring up the same time the ball or your, your hand hits the ball. Second is going to be your cross jab. So right now we have our cross jab in transition, cross jab, and we can go. My second one can be now with my cross jab counter. I can cross jab and counter into another crossover to go out of it there. And then if my defender is a little closer, I'm not able to have that second cross. So I can go cross jab, step, he's a little closer. So I have to go through the legs. So once again, it's just one move, but I want to give you guys different counters. We'll go into a cross jab pull up from here. We'll cross your jab, get to our spot, get into our pull-up. Second one is going to be here. As you can imagine, in transition, I get a cross jab with another cross. I get into it with my pull-up. And then third, that defender's a little closer, so you go cross jab through, and you get into it with your pull-up. So those are three different three different ways you can get into it. Guards are gonna come, are gonna, gonna operate in transition. That's a really good move to keep that speed and also misdirection different moves to throw that defender's timing off balance. If I'm moving at him or if I'm going right at his chest and I'm really attacking him, if I can throw off his timing, all I need is that he's backpedaling to think one thing and I do the opposite and I'm able now to use my speed and deceptiveness to get by him. Focus on that cross jab, 
you can go two dribbles, one, two, and then my third dribble is gonna be a crossover, and I wanna jab the same direction that the ball started. So we can just go one, two, we can cross and shift. So notice, I'm kinda go from a high lifted position, and then I break down, but this is how you can break down the cross jab, and from there, you'll just take it and learn to explode, and as you start to grasp the concept more, you're able to do it in transition. The last one's gonna be heavy step as a, as a player, as a guard you wanna be able to change that pace, right? You don't always wanna be able to play at one speed, so here, we're just gonna do one dribble, heavy step and turn. One dribble, heavy step and turn. One dribble, heavy step and turn. To help you guys really grasp the concept of being able to have your heavy step, notice how my hips slightly turn and explode. Notice the little pause in it as well. It's always gonna be your inside foot for now, being able to heavy step and pause great way to use it is you can imagine that chair is going to be a ball screen. I set my defender up. I come off the ball screen. As soon as I get here, I'll take that one dribble and have just that pause or that lift right now to have a read moment. If he rolls, I'm able to have that heavy step and throw that pocket pass. If there's miscommunication, no one's guarding me. I can see that because I slow things down. And now from that heavy step, I go for my lifted position and I'm able to take off. So some different counters out of your, uh, out of your heavy step simply can be as I go to my heavy step, I go heavy step, I fall down on this foot, my defender overcommits, so now I'm able to go through. When I get into my heavy step, I have just that pause, I fall down, and then I'm able to go through the legs right there, changing that pace. Just that slight change of pace right there for your shot. So you have the heavy step and go, we have the heavy step between, and then also, as I read, I can go heavy step, and I commit, I'm able to now step in two, or I'm able to now drag back what James Harden likes to do at times. So I can get it out of a crossover as I cross and have that heavy step, boom, and pull the ball back, or I can get into it out of the cross, heavy step, and then being able to push right into it. So as a guard, these three moves you need to have, but also I wanted to give you more value. I wanted to break down these moves. I gave you guys nine, nine different moves, three primary moves, and I gave you guys counters to those primary moves. Master these moves, understand different situations and how to use them, and then just be as, as efficient as you can in your workouts and in the game as possible. If you like today's video, IAB Elite Family, you already know, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. We have a lot, a lot of videos coming up for you guys. Something you don't want to miss. Coach Marcus Hodges, you already know, man. Let's get it. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like so YouTube knows you're getting after it. And if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can check out our next videos. See you guys on the next one.